Hello. I pray that you're well today. We continue in parables in Luke, an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. How many times in your life have you asked the question, how much does that cost? How many times have you picked something up in a store and you are asked for a price tag and it maybe wasn't on it? And sometimes you think, oh, I can afford that. And other times you think, oh, that's way too much. We always are counting the cost. What's the most expensive thing you ever bought? House? What's the most significant thing you've ever bought? Your education? The scripture uses this language. In Luke chapter 14, large crowds were traveling with Jesus, turning to him, they said, if anyone comes after me and does not hate his father or mother, his children, his brothers and sisters, yes, even his own life, such a person cannot be my disciple. Verse 27, whoever does not carry their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. He goes on to say and explain it. Suppose if one of you wants to build a tower, won't you first sit down and estimate the cost to see if you have enough money to complete it? Or if you lay the foundation and are not able to finish it, everyone sees it will ridicule you, saying, this person began to build but wasn't able to finish. We've all seen that, right? You see a construction project and then it stalls. And we say, well, what's going on there? Why is it stalling? Why are there no more people working there? What's happening? Because it ran out of money. And so maybe the framing of it was done or the foundation of it was done, but nothing was built upon it because the money was gone. He goes on to say in verse 28, suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Excuse me, apologize. Verse 31, or suppose a king is about to go to war against another king. Won't he first sit down and consider whether he is able with 10,000 men to oppose the one coming at him or against him with 20,000? You say, I'm going to go and fight that army. But in fact, you have half the amount of people. If he is not able, he will send a delegation while the other is still a long way off and ask for terms of peace. In the same way, those of you who do not give up everything cannot be my disciple. To count the cost. What has being a Christian cost you? Has it cost you friendships? Has it cost you resources? Has it cost you time? Has it cost you? What has it cost you? To count the cost. Because as we follow Jesus Christ, we will give up. We deny ourselves. We, we live the life that God intends, not the life that we ourselves want for ourselves. To count the cost. He goes on to say this. Salt is good. But if it loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is, neither, it is fit neither for the soil nor for the manure pile. It is thrown out. Whoever has ears, let him hear. How much does it cost? Well, in truth, the gift of Jesus Christ is free. The most precious thing you have in your life doesn't cost you anything monetarily. But... It is the very nature of life itself. How much does it cost? How much did it cost Jesus? It cost him his life to redeem our lives. Let's pray. Dear God, may we think about how much it costs you that we may consider how much it costs us. That we may deny ourselves, take up our cross daily, and follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today. God's grace.